Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's episode I'm going to be figuring out how deep the submersible in GTA 5 can actually go before I reach crush depth. Um, so we're just going to dive below the ocean here. Oh, oh, I've run into something. Hang on. Hang on. I've already, I've already bunged it up. There we go. Got stuck on some coral there. That's, that's what happened. Alright, so we are going to be seeing, again, how deep can the submarine go? Now, if you look over at the uh, mini-map, um, you'll actually see uh, how, how deep I am. So I am, um, let's see. I am currently zero feet from the top, and when I dive, you can see that number rising. Now I'm 40 feet deep, 50 feet deep, 60 feet deep, uh, so on and so forth. So we're just going to see how deep I can go, and we're going to try and go as deep as possible. Um, and I, the, the problem is, is that you, you can kind of tell on the map, but the, the, the ocean is shaded differently depending on the depth. Um, so the darker the blue on the map, the deeper the ocean is. Um, so this is a nice deep pocket, but it isn't quite deep enough, but I think I can follow it and probably find, find some deeper water. So let's, let's go on ahead and do that. So I'm currently, uh... 436 ish feet from the top um, but we're gonna we're gonna go up a little bit so that I can uh, again find some deeper water and we're just gonna we're just gonna see how how deep again the submarine can go hopefully I will find very deep water and I will really be able to test how far down this thing can go I'm guessing that this thing can probably go a about 750 feet, that would be my guess. But again, that's just a guess. All right, we are officially going down now. Again, I have no clue what crush depth is in this thing. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna even out because I know that this, ooh, approaching crush depth, okay. Ooh, okay, things are happening. Things are definitely happening. Oh, I'm, 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 Oh my goodness. Okay, what was that? 400 and... 500 feet is like crush depth for this thing. And it is not happy. I am... Things are going very wrong here. Okay. I'm gonna just see what happens. Oh, oh, it's vibrating a lot. It's vibrating a lot. Whole integrity critical. All right, I'm going up. I'm going up. This is creepy. This is creepy. I don't like it. I'm going up. All right. It said it said hull integrity was critical. I want to see if there's like any visible damage done to the submersible here. Let's find out. You know what? I think, I think this might be okay. Oh dear, something's killing me. I'm not sure what's killing me, but either either I'm leaking or, or I'm running out of oxygen. I don't know. Oh, oh dear. Oh, I died. I don't know what just killed me. I was on my way to the top. Okay, well that was interesting. Is my submarine just gonna resurface? Let's hijack this jet ski and find out. Let's let's see if I can't find my let's see if I can't find my submersible. Cause I just I just died. I don't know if I ran out of oxygen or if I was leaking. I don't know. So I can I can see the submarine on my mini map. So let's again let's find out what exactly has become of my submersible.
I feel I feel like I'm doing a rescue mission for my own submarine. This feels weird. All right. Very wavy out here. Okay, there is the submarine. They're the last known location of the submarine anyway. Ah, it did resurface. Okay. So let's take a look-see here. Oh, it is a little bit bent. Look at that. The hatch is symmetrical. The bars aren't, uh, aren't very good anymore. All right, let's, let's take it all the way down to crush depth now. All the way down. I want to see just how far... Oh, the propellers. The propellers are all wonky. That's interesting. All right, let's let's just take her down to crush depth again and see see how she how she does. Okay, we're going down. We're at uh, 250 feet. Oh oh, I'm starting to lose health again. Okay, back up, back up, resurface, resurface as quickly as you can. I died again. Interesting. So the submarine, once you hit hull, hull integrity critical, you just you just die. You cannot dive with that submarine again. That is very interesting. Hmm. Okay, let's let's try one more thing. So let's say let's just say that I were to try and limp the submarine back home. Would it be able to do that or is there something catastrophically wrong with the submarine to the point where I cannot even get it back to shore? Would be a great question. So I'm going to try and go down a couple of feet. That way if it does start leaking I can resurface quickly. And we'll see how that goes. So I don't I don't want to go down more than say a hundred feet. And that might even be pushing it. I, I really don't want to go below 50 feet, but you know. Alright. Here is the submarine. I can see it bobbing on the horizon. So just like last time, the submarine does in fact resurface. And it is still damaged from, from that first attempt. So let's see if I can't get it back to shore at least. Okay. So we're just going to dive a couple of feet here. And uh, that seems to be doing okay. So we're, we're just going to leave it right here. I still want to be able to see see the surface so we're just gonna we're just gonna stay right here and not do very much of anything okay there are some big bubbles coming out of this thing so yes this thing is leaking and ah yes i am in fact running out of oxygen so yes the integrity of this thing and i've started dying all right let's resurface okay so, the thing can stay submerged, but it can only stay submerged for so long. I just now noticed my health bar, and yes, I am leaking some massive bubbles that I wasn't leaking before when I was at this depth. So, this submarine is critically compromised and can really never do long-term diving again. It can do short-term diving, and I don't think the depth really matters, but sooner or later you do have to come back up and uh, rejuvenate that, that oxygen supply. So that is important to know. All right, we are we are approaching approaching the ports, and uh, th this was a very interesting test of how deep the submarine could go. I didn't really look when I started dying. I forgot to look at my actual depth, but I'm gonna guess I was somewhere in the the 500s. So that that was definitely interesting. All right, and we are just gonna go. Let's see, where's that road? The road's over here. So we're gonna, we're just gonna park it over here 
at the nearest opportunity that I have to actually park the thing above surface, and uh, and that will uh, probably end up concluding the video. So that was that was interesting. I'm surprised that there's like no cracks. Wait, is there cracks? <gasps> there are cracks. They're very s small and faint, but there are hairline cracks in my uh, in my dome windshield thing. All right, we're going. We gotta go back up for air and to avoid this massive coral wreath that's in front of us. I said wreath instead of reef. Wow. All right, here we go. Uh, we're just gonna. There's somebody on a jet ski. I will try not to try not to collide with them or the parked boat. Here we go. Uh, I don't care. Okay. And there we go. We have saved the submersible. Uh, if you like this sort of content, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.